Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm going to the MW Hair out in Dunmore. Good morning. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning here on a Sunday morning. A glorious Sunday morning. The sun is shining, but it's uh, ideal weather conditions for this uh, league under 15, League Rain A final between John Locks of Callan and uh, Gordon. Young Ireland's of Gordon will give you the kick in, or the John Knox team. And goal is on Lynch, the half full back line. Keen Bergen is at right corner, Tommy Hines at full back, and David Peppard, he's left corner back, the half forward, half back line. Dennis O'Sullivan on the right, Danny Carey is at number six, and James Power is at number seven. The eight, number eight is Luke Power, no relation to James Power, and Paddy O'Brien, he's his partner, he'll wear number nine. The half forward line on the right is Jack Hennessy. At centre half forward is Zach O'Halloran. And left half forward is Richard Power, a brother of James Power. No relation whatsoever to the other powers. Glenn O'Sullivan, top of the right. Robbie Jackman, foot forward. Ollie Donovan, left half forward. The Gordon team will line out in goal is Phil Middleton, the full back line. Connor Lynch, Rory Field is at full back and Con Brennan is at left corner. The half back line on the right is Keenan Barco. At centre back is Matt Murray and left half back is Sam Brennan. The middle of the field, Kieran Carter and Kieran Brennan wearing eight and nine respectively. The half forward line on the right is Aidan Keaton. At centre half forward is Billy O'Keefe and left half forward is Tom Langton. The full forward line top of the right has been Ben, ben Drennan. Jake Kelly is at 14 and top of the left is Joe Walsh. The referee today is Sean McMahon. The game is on. Whistle gone, ball is in, game is on. Gordon defending the goal to our right. Ball hammered in around the kick. John Locks. Half forward line. Gordon forwards trying to move it on. John Locks coming away with the ball. Great defending, great hooking there. Brilliant hitting there by Paddy O'Brien. Paddy O'Brien gets it up towards the Gordon. Half back line. That's Matt Murray. Clears it out. Down to the far side of the field. That's a man with number 27 on his back. And we weren't told about oh, danger here for Callan as the ball's very close to the end line. Keen Bergen is there. Tommy Hine is there. And Joe Walsh down there for Gordon. The referee blows his whistle. Free into Gordon from the 20 meter line. That looks like um, Billy O'Keefe, the free taker. Number 17, actually, we were given number 11 as uh, the uh, centre half forward. We'll have to. Looks like 17 to me, anyway. But anyway, maybe our cameraman will tell us. Whoever he is, whether it's 11 or 17, he hammers the ball over the bar, opens the score for Young Ireland's of Gordon. And I noticed on the scoreboard on the far side, Declan, Wall Declan Wall's in the box with me again today. There's a point behind the John Locks of Callan. 
That's a Gordon point. Young Ireland is a Gordon one point. Play far side the field. James Power County. Seventeen on the back. Yeah. Seventeen is on the back. Three times. The ball. We we're just checking on whether it was seventeen or not. Ball clattered up this side of the field. Brilliant caught there by Power, by uh, Kieran Carter. Here comes Keenan, Keen Bergen, Keen Bergen makes line, makes room, he's tackled from behind, the referee blows the whistle and is a free to the locksman on the outside, inside the road, 65 metre line. Paddy O'Brien with this one. He's been told, Sean McMahon is told, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. He brings it back. Paddy O'Brien hits it long, over into the corner, he's looking for Ollie. Tap down on the far side again. The Gordman with the ball. That's Kieran Carter. Kieran Carter gets robbed. Far side. So here's Zach. Zach Haller. He's been tackled by three Gordmen. Loses the ball. Is on the ground. Tussling for it. Squirted out the far side. Zach is there. So too is Danny Carey. Jack Hennessy gets the ball over this side of the field. Ben O'Sullivan. Ben Sullivan, Glenn Sullivan has the ball, doesn't get it, loses it, they're still tossing for it, he comes back, he might get it up again, that's Robbie Jackman, Robbie, or that's what Zach O'Sullivan gets it in, here comes Ali, or is it? Great chance of a score there by, for the John Locksman, but again, Sam Brennan clears it, brilliantly blocked down there, by Richard Power, Glenn O'Sullivan, Paddy O'Brien, Robbie Jackman, Robbie Jackman tries to get it in. Con Brennan for Gordon, out this side of the field, out over the end line. The score, Young Ireland's at Gordon, one point. John Knox yet to register. Line ball taken. Oli O'Donovan has a shot, goes high and it goes left hand side of post and wide. Two minutes of play gone, Young Irons are three minutes play, Young Irons are Gordon, one point, John Locks of Cannon, yet to register. No, no breeze whatsoever here. In MW Hard Dunmore, puck out, Phil Middleton, far side the field, out as far as Keenan Barco, Barco. Across to his midfielder, Kieran Timmins. Kieran Timmins down the far side. They're springing it around the place. Young Ireland's trying to get going. That's Aidan Keating. He's robbed over there on the far side. Pepper had it. Pepper gets it away for the John Locksman. Picked up inside by Con Brennan. The left corner back. Poor clearance. Here comes John Locks. This is Luke Power. Luke Power still has the ball. Gives it out to the far corner. Robbie Jackman, Robbie Jackman has a look, Robbie Jackman, dangerous, Ollie could be there, the ball's on the edge of the square, Ollie trying to get it up, he has it up, or he's kicking it out in front of him, loses possession, the Gordon men come away with the ball, that's out to the left half back, Sam Brennan, Sam Brennan, down this side of the field, Joe Welch has it, on the 65, dangerous ball indeed for John Locksburg, Danny Kitt. Danny Carey gets the ball, clears it out, far side, Gordon again with the ball. In the run, 45 to number 17. We'll have to go with number 17 because we weren't told who, what his name was when he was playing Kieran Carter for Gordon, hits it long. Goalkeeper comes, that's Owen Lynch, taps it out of the danger zone. Keen Bergen up this side of the field, has a shot, hits it, ball skies off, he's hardly out over the sideline, up on the left hand side, line ball for Gordon, Gordon out in front, one point, John Lux yet to register, just short of five minutes, first half. Picked up by Tommy Hine, the full back. <coughs> Glenn Sullivan trying to get it up, doesn't get it up, it goes to ground. Gordon men have it. That's Kieran Timmins. Kieran Timmins over on the far side. Aiden Keating on a run, staying going. He's still going. He has a look at the post. It's it right handed. It goes out over the end line and wide. 
Young Irons at Gordon, one point. John Locks yet to register. Dickey, this is going to be a very tight game. Looks like a very, very, very competitive there now. Very tight. Scores are going to be hard come by. Uh, cold morning here, but uh, both teams really settling down. It's got some good hurling played. In Keating with the ball, he loses it. Brilliantly tackled over there by James Power. Ball goes to ground again. Back, back to Ke John Locke, back, trying to get the ball out of the danger zone. Inside their own 45 metre line, over over the sideline, far side of the field. Line ball for John Locke to be taken on the far side. One suspects maybe by James Power. Luke. Luke Power gets the ball. It goes to ground again, and now it's Gordon again on the attack. David Pepper, left corner back, gives it across the middle. Paddy O'Brien gets it. Here comes Ali. Ali's on the ball. He's galloping towards the goal. He's still going. He's on the 24 meter, 20 meter line. He has a shot. And Ali puts it over the bar. As only Ali can. Great run by Ali. Good point. Boy, when he gets the ball, Decky, he, he, he screams danger for the opposition. Absolutely. We get enough ball to Ollie and Ollie will do, do, the, do the, all the scores. You know, Ali now and Rob Jackman there, the full forward line, we have some good danger men. Here we go again, Harry. Here we go again. Into the middle. Yes. Goal! Goal there by the foot forward. That's Robbie Jackman. Boy, that came from nothing. Declan. Yeah, good. Again, Callum Tack down the field. Pass into Robbie Jackman and finished very well. Great goal there for Callum. Now we're hurling there, Barry. Getting, getting, getting on top. Go to Kieran Nari, Kieran, Kieran Carter, Kieran gives it to Sam Brennan. Sam Brennan, Gordon on the attack now. Brilliantly stopped in the middle of the field. Picked up by Jack. That's Jack Hennessy. Jack Hennessy is looking above for somebody in the corner. Glenn, Glenn Sullivan. Glenn has the ball very close to the end line. Lose the ball. Picked up in there probably by, by Robbie Jackman. Back to Glenn Sullivan, line ball, far side of the field, up in the far corner is the line ball for the uh, Gordon men. John Knox, 1-1. One, one. Young Ireland's of Gordon, one point. Time says about seven minutes, nine minutes, nine minutes of play. My man, my man from Havana here on my right, Declan Wall, says it's nine minutes and who am I to disagree. Line ball for Gordon, very close to the corner flag, far side of the field. Hard game this, tough game, good hurling though. Under 15, MW Hare Park out in Dunmore. It's the league or the Shield final, under six, 15. Under 15, Shield final. Riley Keane. Keane Carter, here comes Luke Power. Luke Power with the ball. It's the ball into, here comes Robbie Jackman. He's on the 40 meter line, he's still going. Has a shot. Great save by the goalkeeper. Ali. Ali! Oh, but Glenn Sullivan. I thought it was Ali. Glenn Sullivan. Great run by Jackman. Brilliant strike. Saved by the goalkeeper. Phil Middleton could do nothing about the ball that went out to Glenn Sullivan. And he finished it. Good goal, Deck. Great goal. And again, Robbie Jackman there causing all sorts of havoc there on the full forward line. Great save by the keeper, but then falling up there. Finishes very well. Great start for Callum. But then let's just keep it going there. Let's go on, come and come again. Oh, Callan again, the ball. Matt Murray trying to win the ball. That's number, that's Kieran Timmins. Kieran Timmins, far side of the field. Glenn Sullivan contesting for the ball. Tapped away there by Tom Langton out over the sideline, far side of the field. It's a line ball. I thought it was a Callan ball, but the umpire, or lines on the far side, says this for Young Ireland's a Gordon. They're behind. Two goals and a point to John Locks. One point for Young Ireland's a Gordon. Trusting for the ball at this side, the referee blows his whistle, he awards a free to Gordon. To be taken by the number 17. I guarantee you we'll have his name at half time. 
he got their first point from play. That was after about a minute and a half. They haven't been too much of a threat since. John Locks in front, 2-1 to a point. It might be Billy O'Keefe, but good score. Oh, well blocked out, good. And the referee blows his whistle. There's something wrong here. What's wrong? I said the Callum player was too close to the, to the free taker, so they give him the free again, Barry. That's a bit, a bit harsh there now on the, on the, on the, on the Callum team there. Because he missed the free. Again, he has a second bite of the cherry. Again, we have the, a retaken free from about 35, 40 yards out. Surely he would put it over this time. Hits it high enough, hits it long enough, hits it out of the danger zone, out of the danger zone being that no defender could interfere with that one. Two points for young Arza Gordon on the scoreboard. Two goals in a point for John Locks and Callan. Far side of the field, Paddy O'Brien looking for the ball. There for anybody to win. That's James Power. James Power gets the ball out this side of the field. It goes to ground. This is Luke Power. Luke Power looking for Ollie in the far side. He's looking for Robbie Jackman as well. Both of them are there. Here comes John Locks again. Another goal! Harry Donovan! Ali O'Donovan, what a goal. That's two for him, Decky. He's on fire. There's no problem with this guy. We know he's at the races. Absolutely. And that full forward line there are very dangerous. Get enough ball into him and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make scores in there. Uh, playing very well at the moment. Far side of the field. Tussling for the ball. That's uh, James Power. He's tussling with Dayton Keating. But Power wins the ball, drills it up the far side. Probably looking for his brother Richard. Gordon attacking again, down the middle. That's Kieran Timmons. Kieran Timmons gets it long. Goalkeeper Owen Lynch. Owen Lynch clears it out the far side. It goes to ground. The Gordon men coming for the ball. Foul there. The referee blows this with the awards of free to Gordon. Harsh enough indeed, but the referees. More in this final, it all matters of fact and time. The referee's decision is final, Declan. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. One argue. Um, it's a free, so we take the, we have to get him the free. We're 17 with this one. This is his third attempt at a free. He put the last first two over the bar. Surely it is well within his compass. Three goals and a point to two points. Three goals and a point to three points. 15 minutes of play gone. MW Hair Park, Dunmore. That's where we are. That's where you're, you're looking at. John Knox of Callan versus Young Ireland of Gordon. We're coming away with the ball. John Knox again. They're feeding the corner. Ollie Donovan, they're looking for it. Up there, Connor Lynch is there for Gordon. Ollie tries to win the ball. He goes to ground. He's surrounded by at least half the Young Ireland's team. Going to be hard enough. Young Ireland's come away with the ball. Connor Lynch, Keita, that's Matt Murray. Matt Murray gets it down the far side. Dennis O'Sullivan. Long ball down the middle. Could be. Goalkeeper comes out. Tucks a shot. Just tossing for the edge of the square. Goalkeeper should have that ball gone, but he gets a second. He gets away with it, and the ball's gone wide. The umpire waves it wide. Two, three, one. John Locks of Callan, Young Ireland of Gordon, three points. Sixteen and a half minutes of play gone. Seventeen minutes of play gone. Puck out this side of the field. Goalkeeper Owen Lynch. Young Ireland is trying to get it. Kieran Timmons. Cross field ball. Danny, Danny Carey has the ball. He makes, makes ground. Tackle there. T 
Tommy Hine, the big man at full back. Tommy Hine grabs the ball. Tommy Hine hits the ball. They're tussling for it. Zach, Zach Holler trying to get it up. He comes out this side of the field. Here comes Gordon and this is Timmins. Kieran Timmins brilliantly blocked there in front of us. That's Zach O'Halloran. Zach O'Halloran gives it up this side of the field. And the ball goes off a Gordon player out over the line. This side of the field, a line ball for John Knox of Callan. As you say, Declan, this uh, full forward line is lethal. You've got Glen O'Sullivan, Robbie Jackman, and Holly O'Donovan. Line, line. And a goal each year for him. And, uh, you know, we're it's very competitive, but I suppose the difference at the moment is our full forward line of getting the balls into him and getting the scores. We're, we're being very clinical here at the moment. We're just good, good for John Knox. Ball grabbed in the middle of the field by Kieran Carter. Referee blows his whistle to free to Gordon. From the. Uh, and the referee is bringing the ball up. Kieran Timmons with the free. Three points on the scoreboard so far. John Knox have three goals and a point on the same scoreboard. Here comes Aidan Keating, Aidan Keating has a shot, Aidan Keating puts it over the bar. Very good point for Gordon indeed, that's four points for them. Three goes to point for young John Knox. 19 and a half minutes of play gone. Puck out by Owen, Owen Lynch. Goes to ground. Sam Brennan for young arms of Gordon. Here they go again. Tommy Hine goes out there. Tommy takes the ball off the corner forward. Tommy Hine clears the ball, left-handed over the far side. That's uh, Kieran Timmins. Kieran Timmins well blocked down over there. Referee blows his whistle. He fell himself. A man of unqualified experience. Referee giving somebody a yellow card, far side of the field. Still a free to young arms of Gordon. Number 17. It's long enough for the ball goes left hand side of the post and wide. Score remains, John Knox to Callan, three goals and a point. Young Irons of Gordon have four points. 20 minutes gone. That's Luke Power trying to get the ball up. Great driving up this side of the field. Zach Callan has the ball, he's run a run. He's still going, he's on the 20 meter, 30 meter line. He's still going, he's thinking over. He's still going as a shot. And the ball is saved by the goalkeeper. A great save there by the goalkeeper. Great run by Zach Haller. But now Gordon attacking. Kieran Timmons with the ball. He's running. He's inside the 65. He's stopped. The ball inside, here comes the big foot forward. This is Jay Kelly. Jay Kelly gives it across the middle. Oh, brilliant, they stop there. And the referee blows his whistle, and he was another free to Gordon. For what, I don't know, Declan. Very harsh again on the Callan team, very harsh free there. Um, we've seen that, that ball clear blocked and somehow the referee brought it back there for a free. That's very hard share again on the Callum team, but as you say, Barry, referee decision this final. Again, the free taker, he's already got four on the board. This is surely his fifth. Yeah, straight over the bar, another point for Gordon. Oh, very close at the sideline. 
That's Sam Brennan has the ball. Breaks away with that's the corner forward. That's uh, Ben Drennan. Ben Drennan gives it up to uh, Kieran, uh, Kieran Timmons. Number 17 is Thomas Langton, we've just been told. So uh, obviously they have no number 11 jersey. And it, number 11 isn't on the field anyway, so it is Tom Langton. Ball went wide from that attack and it's a puck out for John Knox O'Kellan. 3-1 to 5, out in front. 22 minutes of play gone. Luke Power. Into Robbie Jackman. Here comes Jack. That's Matt Murray. Brilliantly caught. Robbie Jackman in there. Here comes Zach. Zach Holler is on a run. He has pace. The Gordon men are after him. And the referee again. Blows his whistle and awards a free out to the uh, Gordon men from their own half back line. And the referee given a yellow card to Richard Power. Keelan Barco with the free. That's James Power trying to win the ball, but here come Gordon. It's still coming. Danger here for John Knox for the uh, and the referee blows his whistle. He awards a free out to the John Knoxman from the own half back line. And again, Declan, for what? For the carry. For the carry. There's justification somewhere. As the man says, there's a god in it. Free take it, big Tommy, big Tommy Hine, the full back, gives it up into the corner. John Knox with the ball. Sullivan gets the ball, but it's cleared off the line. Kieran Timmons playing well for, oh, brilliantly. Dennis O'Sullivan there. So, so too is uh, Jack Hennessy. It's anybody's ball. The Gordon men trying to force the issue. Zach Hallard again. Zach Hallard playing very deep. Playing very well too. Ollie tries to win the ball. He earned it. He gives it inside. Here comes Robbie Jackman. Robbie Jackman pulls the goalkeepers out. He still has it. Robbie Jackman fight like a tiger. He's surrounded by the by the Gordon full back line. Ollie is in there to give him a hand. Eventually the ball coming out by the full back, that's Rory Phelan. Referee blows his whistle, he awards a free to... Is that the first free John Knox have had, Declan? It's the first free they have, yeah, absolutely. And it's 25 minutes played, and it's their first free. Chance here for Robbie now to put another score on the board here. Robbie Jackman with this free, three goals to the point they have so far on the scoreboards. The White says they've had a score. Let's cut and have a score for 13 minutes. Robbie Jackman with this one. Should be well within his compass. Deadly free take. Absolutely deadly. Having said that, I'd probably put the, a hex on him. Will I? Have I? I've put the hex on him. The next time I open him out, deck, he hit me a box in the back of the forehead. Ball poked out. This side of the field. That's Jack Hennessy trying to get head up. Jack Hennessy still in there, still with a chance of winning the ball. The Gordon men don't get it. Out this side of the field. Danny Carey, Danny Carey, the centre half back, had it. Luke Power, Luke Power gets it, drills it over up towards the full forward line. Con Brennan tries to get it out. He still has it. Low ball this side of the field. Luke Power lets it off his hurley. Here comes the Gordman. This is Langton. Tom Langton locked across the field. Langton has it. 
Down into the corner. David Peppard is there. Keen. Keith Bergen is over there too. They're tussling for it in the corner. Gordman win the ball. The referee blows his whistle. It was a free to Gordon from the 20 meter line. He's a bit whistle happy, isn't he? Very, very, yeah. But just what now Dare's will say give him credit. That was free, all right. Okay, but yeah. Gordon has uh, five points of form there for free, so it's now probably another one for Tom Langton to have another free and close the gap here on Callum. Tom Langton with the free. Already has four to his name from the free scenario. Could it be five? Yes, it is. Puts it straight over the bar. The young Gordon supporters underneath us saying, well done, Tommy. Well, Tommy hasn't let him down so far. That's five from five. Very close to half time. 29 minutes gone. Owen Lynch, far side. Langton, Tom Langton again. Uh, Richard Power trying to get the ball. Ball goes off Langton. Power engineers it off the line, over the line, far side line ball for John Locks of Callan. Pace after dropping a little bit, Declan. Yeah. Um, it was very competitive, very, and like they said, just last few minutes now, pace just dropped, but still a uh, very competitive game. Both sides really, really fighting, and the scores are hard to come by. Wardman trying to kick the ball out in front of They're still going. Referee blows his whistle. He was a free out to John Locks from the road 45. It looks to me as if uh, James Power was, uh, or just Keen, Keen Bergen was upended there, and the referee had no option but to give to John Locks with the free. Tommy Hine with the free. Long free up the far side. Ali trying to win it. He doesn't get it this time. That's Connor Lynch. Connor Lynch gets it away the far side for Gordon again. They're coming inside the Kid Kenny. The John Knox. Referee blows his whistle. And he awards a free to. I actually, this man has me puzzled completely because I don't know what way the free is. It's a free out to Callan. A foul there, a foul there on James Power. Tommy Hine coming out to take it. He's a big man, Hine, isn't he, for yeah. 15? And a good full back, Barry. Uh, yeah, big man, good full back. Uh, controlling his area there. A long free down now again, down to the corner, looking for Ollie. Ball comes to ground. Cleared by the corner back. Connor Lynch is line ball for the locks, about 30 metres out from the Gordon goal up on our right hand side. Zach Hollard with this one. Gets it. Bloody. Jo John Knox trying to force the issue. Referee blows his whistle and he awards a free out. We're into the uh, 31st minute of the first half. Ball hammered out this side. This is Kieran Timmins. Out comes Jay Kelly. Jay Kelly, a big, powerful man. He's number 14. Gets it down into the corner. Great ball. Great save there by Owen Lynch to the kind of goal. This is Jay Kelly. Young Ireland still attacking. Kelly puts it over the bar after all that work. They have seven points on the scoreboard. John Knox have three goals and a point. And John Knox have not scored since the 13th minute. Three threes is nine and one is ten. There's only three points between the sides as the referee blows the half-time whistle. John Knox are, after slackling off a bit, Decky, I mean, they're... They're not making the penetration that we, we, we expected. No. That, that open, blister and open. Start. Absolutely, no. We started very well and took our goals very well. Well on top of Gordon have come back into it. As you said, um, Gordon have found men now all over the field. We seem to have lost our, our bit of shape there, but half time has probably come, the right, right time for us. So we can get, get them in, get them settled down again. 
And let's hope the second half now we can start a good way. We start the first half. At half time dead here in uh, MW Hair Dunbar. Uh, the, uh, just a rundown of the scores there, Declan. So the goal, as the game opened with a golden free after one minute there for, uh, from Thomas Langton. Then Ollie Dunlan for John Locke, secretised to make it a point all after seven minutes. Then a great goal from Robbie Jackman after eight minutes to put John Locke back in front there, one one to a point. Followed by another goal after ten minutes there by Glenn Sullivan. Glenn Sullivan uh, pounced on a, on a uh, great save by the keeper after Robbie Jackman uh, headed the hole and end up with Locke being 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one to two points up. Gordon Free by Thomas Langton for 12 minutes. Followed by um, Ollie Dunham on 38 minutes for John Locks. Then another Gordon Free on the 15th minute from Thomas Langton. To make, make the score three points to 3 1. Aidan Keaton, a, a point from play for Gordon. Uh, then Gordon kind of finished then with a point from, two points from Thomas Langton, one from a free, uh, sorry, two from a free, and then one from Jay Kelly at full forward. And at half time, Gordon has seven points from John Locks at 3 1. 3-1 to 7 points at half time, that's the way it is at this moment. In the under 15, Ryan A. Lee, our Shield final. John Locks against Young Ireland's or Gordon. Welcome back. The second half is in. The game is the ball is in. The game is on. Three one to a seven. Don't forget Gordon attacking. Danger here for John Knox. Langton has the ball. Referee blows his whistle. Wars a free in again to Callan from the or to the young Ireland of Gordon. And this will narrow it down Declan to a two point game. Absolutely. And I couldn't have seen. I couldn't see that after ten minutes. No, I thought we started very well. I thought we we're getting the uh, ball into full forward line. Full forward line doing very well. But as I said, Callan hadn't scored now since the 38 minutes, and that's uh, a worrying for, for, for John Locks that we can't get um, our scores up here. So let's hope we can settle down. Tom Langton flicks it over the bar. Another point for Young Ireland. They're going to have eight points on the scoreboard now. Six of them are from Freeze. John Locks had three goals and a point. And I don't think any of them are from Freeze. But anyway, ball pucked out by Owen. Owen Lynch. Owen Lynch gets it up the middle of the field. Again. The Gordon men win it in the middle of the field. That's Kieran Timmins. Luke Power trying to come away with the ball. Loses the ball. It's on the ground. He gets it back again. He still has it. Referee is getting well bottled up. Ball gone up along the left-hand side. That's David Pepper. Pepper tries to get the ball. Locked. Over the far side. Kieran Carter, Gordon playing the better hurling all together. That's with Jay Kelly. Jay Kelly is on the run. Defenders are there. Danger indeed. Out comes the goalkeeper, Owen Lynch. Owen Lynch clears it out. The far side. A race of possession. Over there, Jack Hennessy trying to get the ball. He's right half forward, but he's playing at left corner back. The ball again with the Gordon men. David Pepper clearing that ball for Gordon. Foul there, referee blows his whistle. Free to the Gordon men from the uh, far side. Oh, yeah. Zach Haller giving that free for the Gordon men. Tom Langton going out to take this one. The mentor going into one of the uh, Gordon players. Probably has a helmet problem. Still a free to Gordon about. 50 metres out from the John Knox goal up on the right hand side, 10 metres in from the far sideline. Tom Langton 
trying to make it nine points for Young Ireland as Gorn. It's on its way. Danny, Danny Carey has the ball, goes out towards the goal, corner flag. Dennis O'Sullivan, Paddy Carey. Danny Carey with the ball, clears it out this side of the field. Paddy O'Brien, Paddy O'Brien fails to get it up. But again, it's the Gordon that have the ball. Good defender there. Great hook. James Powers there, Jack. Hennessy, Jack playing way, way back. That ball is with Jack Hennessy. Clears the ball down this line, but only to where he should have been himself. And Jack, Zach Holland goes out after. Doesn't get it. Paddy, Jack Lank, Tom Langton has it for Gordon. Looking for a... Looking for a... A target. He gives it to Kieran Carter. Kieran Carter shot goes. Long, but is a little bit to the right and wide. Declan, we're not getting the ball even beyond our own half back line. No, it's a moment because you're going actually on top. And all the ball is down in our, and our backs are defending very well. But we need to get the ball off, off front. Where, um, it's, at the moment, it's all Gordon. We need to get, we need to get our forwards into the game. Ball out this side of the field. This is Jay Kelly. Jay Kelly on a run. James Power is after him. James Power hook, half hooks him. Out comes Dennis Carey. James Power tries to get the ball up, fails to get it up. But again, it's Dennis Carey. Gives it back to Kip Bergen. Key Bergen turns it down. Here comes uh, here comes Zach Haller. Zach Haller goes after the ball. So do Matt Murray. Jake Zick. Into it. It's into all the uh, Dennis on the on there, and he fouls the referee. Blows his whistle. It's there to be won. The ball is kicked out of the danger zone. That's Zach Holler. Zach Holler, and a free there for John Knox of Callan. And the referee going to give. Take someone's name. <laughs> Sam Brennan, and we think he's got a yellow card. There's still a free to John Knox and Callan dead straight in front of the post. About 30 metres out to be taken by Robbie Jackman. It's this time, 3-1 to the scoreboard. They haven't registered a score, score since the 13 minutes, the 13 minutes of the first half, and that's the second score. That's their first score since 13 minutes of the game. That's a fair indictment, Decky. Absolutely, because uh, it's Gordon has been doing all the hurling and picking out in the last 10 minutes of the second first half, and now it's starting off. So, um, Point there from Robbie now. Hopefully, we'll settle us down and get get our boys back in, into into the game and get more ball up to our full forward line. Because uh, at the moment, Gordon are actually dominating. Then Sullivan is down here injured for a moment. Three, two, two, eight points. Gordon doing, as Declan says, uh, Gordon are doing all the best hurling out there. Their possession hurling is very good. They're going through the lines. They're working the ball well. Their attitude is good. And Callan seem to be asleep. Uh, they just don't seem to be concentrating. Three to, uh, three, two to eight points. John Knox out in front still by... Locked down there by Richard Power. But again, the breaking ball goes to a Gordon player. Drilled it up into the space. Here they come. Here comes Jack Kelly. Here. David. There's O'Sullivan. Foul there on John Locke's player. Foul there on O'Sullivan. Dennis O'Sullivan is free out to John Locke from their own half back line. Paddy O'Brien takes this one down at the left hand side. He's looking for Robbie Jackman. Robbie Jackman lose the ball. It's kicked out of the sideline, down our left hand side. It's a line ball for the locks. And 
The man with number four in his back, Con Brennan, keeping a real good close eye on Robbie Jackman. Jackman going to take this one. <laughs> He's looking for a target man. Is there a target man in there or is there a man coming to take the ball? Ollie has the ball. Oh, reverse cap pass back out to Jackman. Jackman has a shot. Takes a high. It looks to be good. It's taken down by the goalkeeper. Well saved indeed by the goalkeeper. Out comes uh, Con Brennan. Con, or Con Brennan gets the ball. On the far side, Gordon coming with the ball. Danny Carey, crossfield ball. Here comes Oli. Oli looking for a partner. Here comes Robbie Jackman. He's on a run. He has a shot, but the snicks it over the bar. That was a clever point, Dickie. Great score there now, and great play between Ollie and Robbie. Uh, Ollie and really, uh, Robbie finished that very well. Great score. We do more of that, don't we? Absolutely. And, and I said, we get, if we get enough ball into that full forward line, we can, we can do damage. But it's getting the ball in there. Gordon have been doing all the hurling in the second half, but John Locks now seems to be getting back into it. 3-3 three, three to 8 points here in John Long, uh, in UPM, uh, UPMC, Nolan Park. That's where the county final is going to be. It's uh, MW Higher here in Dunmore. 10 minutes of play gone. 3-3 three, uh, three to John Locks. 8 points to Young Ernst of Gordon. Puck out. Phil Middleton. Well caught over there by Langton. Gives it over to Kieran Carter. Carter drills it long up towards the full back line. Big Jake, big Jake. Tommy Hine trying to get it up, doesn't get it up. Picked up there by, uh, looks to me like number 14, I think. Not sure. And he went to the good point. Number 11. Billy O'Keefe putting that ball over the bar. Puck out, Owen Lynch. Trying to get it along. John Knox trying to get the ball. Oh, what possession. He gets off the far side. Paddy O'Brien has the ball. Very close to the sideline. Far side of the field. That's Richard Power. Richard Power has a shot. Richard Power puts the left hand side of post and wide. John Locks, 3 3. Young Arles of Gordon, 9 points. Gordon again on the run. This is Aiden Keating. Aiden Keating having a look. This could be a great ball. Long, it's high, but it's a little to the right hand side and wide. 13 minutes of play gone in this second half. We're not winning our own puck house tech. No, we're not very. Um, we're losing their day around the middle of the field, but yeah, Gordon doing all the hurling here. The middle of the field, here they come again. So our backs are defending very well down there. Here comes Gordon. That's Kieran Carter. They're spraying the ball all over the face. There for that, a shot goes to the left hand side of the post and, and just as well for Callan, Declan. Absolutely, very. Um, Gordon are at the moment dominating us. Two poor wise there from Gordon. Uh, to, uh, but I said our backs are, are really defending well. We did great credit to our backs, but we're losing the here. We're losing around the middle of the field. Gordon seems to be on top here, in the middle of the field, and now Callum making a substitute there to try and counteract that. Jake Paddy Hennessy's gone off there. Jake Jack Hennessy's gone off. I think it's Joseph. Is it Paddy Grace or Joseph Butler coming on there? Ball around the middle of the field again. Gordon winning. That's uh, Langton gets the ball up into the corner. Race possession. Jay Kelly going out after has a low ball across the middle. Another shot there by Billy O'Keefe. And Billy O'Keefe puts it straight over the bar. A point for Young Arms of Gordon. Yeah, tis now gone up at the scoreboard. Again, Gordon winning the ball and the puck out. Every one of our puck outs have been lost. Gordon win them. <laughs> 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 
Conor Lynch to corner back. Referee blows his whistle. Awards a free to John Knox from the own half back line. Paddy O'Brien with the free. Looking for Ollie. Be double marked. The Gord men coming away with the ball. Another free. This is whistle happy. Three three to ten points. Matt Murray with the free, 14 gone, 15 minutes coming up. Hits it long, down this side of the field. Lengthen again. As Paul gets it away. Referee bringing on the ball. Atrocious referee, in my opinion. Atrocious. Anyway, it's a free, a free, a free. It goes. Gordon trying to put on the pressure again. And this is Jake Kelly. Trying to win out the ball. Hard pulling there by the Gordon men. Here comes Gordon. Danger for John Knox of Callan. This did have it. Tommy Hine has the ball, grabs it, comes out towards the sideline. Richard Power tries to get in as far as uh, Luke Power. Kieran Carter hits it high and he puts it over the bar. Puck out to be taken by Tommy Hine. Again, down the far side. Zach, big chop on the ball there. Referee never spotted it. Gordon. Here comes Gordon. That's Kieran Timmons. Goes through Tommy Hines. Not through, not through Sullivan. I'm utterly, utterly perplexed as to what this referee is blowing his whistle for. Behind with the free. Zach losing the pick up of the ball. This is Pepper David Perpard. Been bottled up. And the Gordon men again breaking away with the ball. What's gone wrong with this Callan team? Inside to Jack Light, there could be a goal here. And again, the ball clattered right inside the post and wide. What a let off, Dickie. Very much so, Barry Gordon here are definitely on top. How oh, you got the moment of our team? But I said, our backs are hurling well, um, but we are being let off there. A few bad wides there from Gordon. Be poked out again by Tommy Hine. Big man. 
Et dans le dessin. They're tussling first, off a Gordon player out over the side and up on the right hand side. The locks are up by one point, but that's about all. And it's a very slender lead indeed, Dickie. Absolutely, 18 minutes gone. There's 18 minutes of play, there's 12 minutes of play left. This match can be won or lost in the next 12 minutes of play. It's a line ball up on the right hand side. That's uh, Paddy O'Brien, Paddy O'Brien gets it. Ball thrown there, but the referee didn't spot that one. They're tussling for it. Callan, Laura Lynch on the sideline said, Callan have to win this. Still a lot of bodies around the ball. The clash of the ash. Flicked on over there, race of possession. Keith Bergen has the ball. Thunders out with it. Jack Callum flattened there as he got the ball inside his own 65 and coming out to take it. Robbie Jackman. 3 3. 12 points on the scoreboard behind the name John Locks. 11 behind the name, Young Ireland's of Gordon, and believe you me, it's anybody's game at this juncture. All right, 10 minutes left, now this is an important free here for Robbie Jackman, we need to get uh, another score on the board. We haven't done enough scoring here in the second half, Gordon have been doing all the play, all the pressing. But as I said, our backs are hurling very well, we need to get our forwards now. And I said, this is a very important free, to try and push the two points up again. Robbie Jackman. Looks to be way to me. Right hand side of the post, some wide. Still only one point between the sides. Ollie there. There's no doubt in the world about it. It looks at this stage for, to me, Decky, that if Ali doesn't do it up there, nobody's going to do it. Yeah, okay, between Ali there and Robbie, we're on ball, but we're not getting enough ball up to them. Um, the Gordon midfield half back line were dominating there in that second half so far. So, again, very important free. Someone has been taken by Ali himself. So, yeah. need to get some scores on the board, Barry. We're not, not doing enough scoring here. Yeah, Ali, Ali O'Donovan flicks that one over the bar with infinite confidence. Three goals and four points for John Locke and Callan. We've gone into the last ten minutes of this game here in John Locke Park. And the ball flicked out over the sideline, down underneath this here. It's a line ball for for uh, the Gordman. We're not getting to the Gordon quick enough, Declan. Sure. Here comes John Locks. Here's Sullivan. Glenn Sullivan on a run. He's been followed by half of the Gordon team. Takes a shot to outcut the Gordon. And the referee blows his whistle. And it's a free into John Locks from outside the 45 meter line. And I'm sure the Gordon lads are giving out about that too. Uh, probably, but I think it was a free. He was being held back. So this is, uh, again, another important free. We put three points up. John Knox 3-4, Young Irons of Gordon, 11 points, and we're about 8 minutes of play left in the second half of this. Under 15, Ryan A, Shield final in MW Hare Park, and done more between John Knox of Callan and Young Irons of Gordon. Ollie, Bar Ollie O'Donovan with this one. Taking all the time in the world. Hits this one high and he puts this one over the bar. That was a pressure point, Decky. Absolutely, and a very important one, Barry. Now, it was three points up. But now we just need to win this, this midfield battle. 
Gordon were winning. Here we come again, Barry. Again, Gordon winning the ball in the middle of the field. Where's the John Knox field, midfield gone? Gordon here, danger, 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 danger. Here comes big Jack Kelly. Oh, what a day! What? A goal for Gordon! A great save, but then the rebound put into the back of the net. Now we have a game on our hands. 1-11 for Gordon. 11 and 3 is 14. 3-3 three is 9 and 5 is 14. 14 points apiece. They're level here. The Locks medal have to pick it up now. Ball won over there. That's David Prepper. Gives it down the far side of the field. Hand them run back. As one would say, it's a line ball. The referee blows his whistle. It could be a free. It could be a line ball. It could be anything. They're level. Just over six minutes of play left here in MW Hare Park. In this Shield final under 15, Ryan A. Free taken by Ali, it's high. And it goes, but high and wide. Puck out, Phil Middleton. John Locke's trying to get the ball moving towards the Gordon half-back line. Go on, Keane Bergen. Hits it long. The goalkeeper has to come. He gives the ball to his full back. Left handed clears out the far side. David King here and Carter. Dennis O'Sullivan tries to win the ball. Gets the foul. Pulls, earns the free. Gets the foul. 3 0 5 for John Locks of Callan. 1 11 for the. Young Ireland's men of Gordon, 26 minutes of play, gone. There's less than five minutes of play of normal time. I'm sure they'll be at a time. Free to John Knox off their own half back line. They want to they have five minutes to win or lose this game. Taken by Zach O'Haller. And the ball gone straight over the bar. Well, with the aid of the goalkeeper, that was a good free deck, a long way back. A long free there, and a very good point. Back in front again, Barry, we need to keep it going. Oh, great catch there in the middle of the field. John Locks with the ball. Luke Power gives it across the middle. Here comes John Locks with Kellen. Goal! That goal! And who wants to get it? But the little man in the corner, he's pure dynamite, this guy. You couldn't take your eye off him in a minute. Even when he'd be in bed asleep, you couldn't take your eye off him. Good goal, great opportunism. Great, absolutely, and a great pass there from Joseph Butler. So Ollie was, Ollie was free, and Ollie just pulled first time. Great goal. What will you do? Four minutes left, Harry, just get a clear going. Ball to be poked out again. Phil Middleton with the ball. It was scarcely, scarcely deserved, Declan. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Gordon have been doing all the hurling in the second half. But in fairness, our boys never give up. We, we keep going. Um, backs hurling well. Keenberg on the, on the full back line is playing the Stormer with Tommy Hine. Um, we're just losing it here around the middle of the field. We just need to keep, keep it going now. We have four minutes um, to try and keep that middle of the field going. And off ball up to the full forward line. Ollie there again, Zach. All hurling very well. There's a, looks to me as if Ollie was down injured there for a few minutes, but uh, he's up and he's okay. He's made the stern stuff. He's a Donovan. He's a Donovan. Do you have to? Do I have to say anything more, Declan? Oh, no, sorry, no, absolutely. Sure, his granddad Tom and uh, his aunt Teresa and, and, and our Paddy's uncle Paddy, of course, and I know that he's. 
foul there, a foul there, and a, a foul there, and move power as the freeze of John Knox from the 65 metre line to be taken by Zach, Zach Holler. And there's less than two minutes of play left here in MWR Dunmore. Zach Holler stands over this ball. It's a long way out, it's a big ask from this young lad. He's only under 15 years of age. It's on its way, it looks to be good, is it good? It is good. Oh, what a chance, what an effort. And he did the real right thing, didn't he? Really, yeah, actually pulled first time. Uh, but unfortunately, just off something he's already in line. But let's keep going. Paddy O'Brien with the ball. He's been chopped there, foul ref. The ball breaking back. This is Zach O'Hanlon. Zach is going to drive it back towards the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper comes, has to clear his line, clears it out this side of the field. Up they go for it. Zach Hallard there. Here comes Zach Hallard having a very good game indeed. Gets it across to Donovan. Sullivan. Or Joseph Butler. Joseph Butler loses the ball, cleared out the far side. It's a race for possession. Going over there is the right corner back. Or left corner back, David Pepper. David Pepper loses the ball. He goes after it. James Power is after, after the ball. He's still going. Here comes Gordon. There could be very there could be big danger here for John Locke. Oh brilliant defending. Brilliant defending there. Brilliant defending there by Danny Carey. It's a free out to the locks from their own 20 meter line. John Locks out in front. Four goals and six points. 18 minute points. That's uh, to Young Irons of Gordon. 111, 14 to 18. John Locks out, out in front by four. Decky, what's time? Well, the time's up, right? 30 minutes is gone. So, whatever time now, referee allows on for injury time. 30 minutes is gone. It's still a free to Callan from their own uh, 14 meter line. <laughs> Tommy Hine with this one. He'll drive it to the end of the world if he can. Belts it high. John Knox have to prevent this from going back up the field. Picked up over there by Con Brennan. Connor Brennan gets it over the far side. Stopped by the John Knox defender. This is Ali. Here comes Ali. Ali's on the run. They're all after him. He's the hare. He gives it in sight. Oh, foul there on the referee and the John Knox forward and the referee blows his whistle. Could it be a penalty? It doesn't matter, Dickie, does it? Point will do. Absolutely. Just get, take your point, take a sign round, put the bar, and this hopefully should, should see us out. John Knox, four goals and six points. Young Ireland's are Gordon, one goal and 11. This point will do. This is certainly finish it. <laughs> It could have been Robbie Jackman down injured, is it? Robbie Jackman down injured. He's up. He's up and he's okay. 4 6 to 1 11. Another great win for the Locks this week. We won on Wednesday night when we got the under 15, under 13s, won their, done their championship. Didn't come up. We came up short again. James Stevens yesterday in the under 13 Ryan A County final championship. We're going to come out on top here. Two out of three, not bad. Ollie, Ollie O'Donovan stands over this one. The, as I said, you couldn't take your eye off him even if he was in bed. Robbie Jackman, Robbie Jackman being sent off. Ollie Berger, Ollie Donovan with this one. Tapping over the bar, Ollie. Yeah! Ollie Donovan tapped it over the bar, and that about is that, isn't it, Dickie? Okay, Barry, yeah. Um, and we didn't see what happened there between Robbie Jackman, but that's tribute, Barry. We're five points up, and I can't see him come back from this. We are. 
into well into your time now. Power out the ball, far side of the field, he gives it inside. Ollie Donovan trying to win it, tries to get it up. And another free there on Ollie Donovan as uh, the referee blows his whistle. It's about 40 metres out, right on the sideline, far side of the field. John Knox heading for glory, heading for an, a, a title. Shield final here in Kilkenny. Any title in Kilkenny is harder than this one. It doesn't come any harder than this one. John Knox will win this one, I presume. It's a free to John Knox taken by, to be taken by Ollie Donovan. I presume they'll win this one, but they didn't get it too easy. Donovan stands over this one, 40 yards out. He bends, he lifts, he strikes, and he makes... Just to the right hand side of the post. What were you doing, Ollie? The ball clattered out to the middle of the field. This is Zach. Zach has it. Zach had it. Zach had it across to me. And the referee blows his whistle. A great pass inside to Ollie Donovan. Standing all on his own, and the referee alone chooses to blow the whistle to give John Knox a free on the 20 meter line, if ever there was a question of advantage to be played, there was it. Absolutely. Um, very again, another poor decision by the referee. Um, surely I'd, I'd give advantage. Zach put a great ball down to Ollie, Ollie, Ollie's own. Surely would have gone in for goal, um, but referee decided to call it back. Uh, a bit unfair on the Callum boys, that's a bit harsh. But as you say, Barry, referee decision is final. Four goals and seven on the scoreboard. John Knox of Callan is behind the name behind that score. Young Ernest of Gordon, the goal and eleven. And young Ollie Donovan. Ollie O'Donovan, they say. Well Ollie Donovan. And the referee blows the whistle. And it's all over here in MW Higher Park, Dunmore. John Knox of Callan winning the under 15 Ryan A. Sheen final in a wealth of wealth glory. They deserved it at the finish for the sec, for their start. They won the game, Decky, for a great start and a great finish. Absolutely. And, you know, and Gordon it played. Awful lot missing in between. It was. And Gordon played very well. Particularly, they said the last 10 minutes of the first half and the first 10 minutes of the second half, Gordon were dominating their midfield at that time. But I say, I think our full back line there, Tommy Hine, his young Keenberger, thought had a right game at corner back. Danny Carey is on the back. Played very well. And you said, we finished well. We finished well there with. Get the, getting again, getting the balls up into the forward line. Zach Halloran, Ollie Donovan, Robbie Jackman, you know, and the, on the sub there, Joseph Butler made a huge difference there as well, and threw a ball across to Ollie and, and uh, a great goal. I think it's well deserved, we, uh, he said, for the start we had and the way we finished. Great start, great victory for Cal. This is a Ryan A title, and it's a shame, it might be a Shield final, but it's a Ryan A, and this is great for our club. And, uh, you know, again, we're here back here Tuesday night now with the 15B team to try and win the championship. There you are, the score, as I say, Declan had it, uh, four goals and eight. Four goals and eight points to one goal and 11. Well, we're going to have a few interviews now in a minute in the presentation of the Cup, and we will be with you shortly. Oh, gives us a point of it. And he's every time that he's double marked, Gary. Double marked. Right. So, uh, the first thing I just have to tell everybody here, please, like we all know the day that's in it, and I would greatly appreciate if you could clear the venue as quickly as possible. Because I can't get out of here until everything, everyone is gone. <laughs> and I need to get to So I uh, would just greatly appreciate your cooperation. Uh, thanks for Now, again, uh, yeah, we had another wonderful game here today. Um, John Locke's in the happy position, I think, up to last, last week to win five finals. A bit of bad luck yesterday, but uh, maybe today some bit of consolation. Uh, today, a very good competitive game. Uh, Keenly contested, 
Uh, hard luck to young Ireland lads. Good team. And very little between ye. And well done to all the mentors in the team you know, for a uh, wonderful performance. Um, so I'd just like to say thanks to Kenny County Board for the use of MW here. Uh, I say a special word of thanks I say that all day or every day to all the parents who uh, contribute so much to the to Kenny GF uh, driving their sales all over the county for league, championship, uh, challenge games, whatever, training sessions. Uh, very well done and I think the parents need for, uh, deserve a very good round of applause. So, thanks very much to everyone, and uh, I just now would like to present the shield to David. Danny. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well done, few times during the year they, uh, they wish we weren't they weren't over us like <laughs> uh, a few struggling times during the year but sure they stuck with us and look at us now like uh, thanks to the boys who cut the pitch and that was in good condition and for the dressing rooms and all that um, yeah thanks to Gorn a good match <laughs> cheers. three cheers for Gorn <laughs> Jackman, that was hard there. There was times there when you were cool. There was times there when you were getting heart attacks. Ah, yeah. We uh, started very well. We knew Gore would come at us, and uh, in fairness, they did. And there was a big battle there. Where Gray Pierce ended first half, beginning at second. But the lads, in fairness, stuck in, never gave up. And really, really kicked on at the very end. And that's where we're winning our match lately, is at the very end. So it's a good sign of a good team. Stuart Donovan. There's an old expression that says a good start is better than a good finish, but in analysing that match, you would have to say Callan had a brilliant start. Probably went to sleep a little bit on Gordon came back into the game and had a brilliant finish. Does that sum it up in your opinion? Yeah, I think that's fair enough, Barry. We had a we had a great start. Like we got three goals, three outstanding goals, in fairness, and maybe could have had a fourth. And um, you're right, we went to sleep a bit then for about 
I suppose 15 minutes before half time, 15 minutes after half time, even 20 minutes. But uh, we've been finished well all year. They don't, we don't make it easy on ourselves. But um, we finished very well against Scorn, came back from the dead, or against uh, Danes Fort, came back from the dead to win that. Had a great second half against uh, O'Loughlin's and uh, great 15 minutes to start today, fell asleep, but last 10 minutes were very strong, so we're delighted. Robbie, you had a great lead and Gordon uh, whittled it down. Thanks in the main to some questionable decision by a referee where most of their scores in the first half. I think most of the scores bar one was from freeze, but at the end of the day, like you showed your metal, you showed your determination there towards the end of the towards the end of the game, and that's that's the that's the hallmark of a good team. Yeah, like it's it's it's, it's a hallmark, very good team. In fairness, are frustrating at times with with some decisions and. That's the way hurling goes, but like uh, in fairness to the lads, they show great all over the field. They, like you know, some lads do it today, some lads do it another day. All over the field with leaders there today, and none of them gave up, and they, they kept picking away, picking away, st stuck to the plan, and eventually got their got their rewards in the end. Yeah. Uh, looking at the match from the sideline, uh, Stuart, um, everyone had their big time, their big moments in the game. Everybody did their bit when it was required. You know. There was no great start. Well, there was one, great, in my opinion, but sure, I'm a, I'm a devout supporter of him and uh, the smallest man to feed your own lad. Like, he stepped up when it really was needed. Yeah, look, I suppose... Um, Not a fair question to you now, but... No, look, I mean, we're, we're relying on 18, 19 lads all year and uh, there were some super performances today and some people heard well all through. Other lads came in and out of it. Uh, I thought myself Dennis Sullivan was uh, outstanding throughout, um, never faded for the whole game and um, we had a number of lads then that stepped up and needed him and uh, we got goals early and we got a goal late and the last goal was, was crucial, you know, but um, you know everyone chipped in and uh, a special mention for Owen Lynch as well in the goal, uh, Owen stepped in for us there, not a, not a goalie by trade we'll say, but uh, made a couple of outstanding saves today and um, it was brilliant I thought, so yeah, delighted Barry. And uh, at the at the end of the day, Robbie Jackman, this is about club, isn't it? This is about the John Locks club, and we've had our problems during the year, and so 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 that's all put, filed away, dead and buried. Uh, it's great for our club. Wednesday night we had a great night here. Yesterday we weren't as fortunate as we should have been. Probably could have won and didn't win, but today really, you know, it adds luster still to the name John Locks of Callan. Yeah, without a doubt, Barry. Yeah, and like it's all about player development and getting them through through to adult level. And like, don't forget, like we've uh, our this this B team, our under fifteen B team, we're there in a county final on Tuesday night, which is a great achievement, you know, as well. So it's a great a great squad of players there. Great squad under thirteen, under fifteen, and the minors are out then on Thursday night. You know, so it's fantastic for the juvenile club and for John Locks in, in, in all. Like, so it's the main main thing. If our main goal is get all these lads into minor and then get them through to adult adult level, keep them all hurling. For the naysayers, the last question, Stuart, I give it to you. For the naysayers that said uh, the John Locks are bet, the John Locks are down, the John Locks have failed, they're wiped out, there's nothing further from the truth, and that's a good feeling. Absolutely, Barry. Anybody that's involved in the club knows we have a vibrant uh, underage uh, setup, and certainly the future is bright, Barry. We've a savage amount of young lads coming, and it was heartening to see on Wednesday and yesterday as well as support we've had. Um, and especially and, and today as well, like we have, we have a n multitude of players at a younger level who, if we keep them coming, we'll have a special adult team. We'll have more than one special adult team in, in four or five years' time, and uh, it's in the post, Barry. <laughs> it's in the post. Stuart, I couldn't finish it better myself. For Stuart Donovan and Robbie Jackman, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Have a look at that camera there, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you were saying great oh, wins. Wow. <laughs> and now I only know what you're <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.